Tebow's coffee. <laughs> what are you doing back there? <laughs> What's the look of a barista? <laughs> Good morning, everyone. We're here at Bo's Coffee Tribute in the Capitol Grounds of Cebu, and it happens to be the first ever coffee tribute in the Philippines, meaning it's a coffee shop that pays respect and homage to all the Filipino people behind the coffee that we're drinking today, from those who supply the beans to the ones who are weaving the baskets for the decor, just everyone and anyone who is involved with Bo's Coffee, and we're just excited to share this experience with you all. Jose Internet Coffee Stops by any means. We will do 7-Eleven, we will do Instant Packet, we will, we don't care, we will go anywhere and everywhere for coffee. It's either good or bad for us, again. But the whole intention of today is to like learn and explore and try different coffees, learn the importance behind it. So all in all, I guess we're in for an experience. We don't know what to expect, but we're excited. All I know is we're gonna be trying coffee. Sign me up. By the way, I'm Marvin Lara. I've worked here in Bose for a year and now I've met these two wonderful persons right in front of me. So Jose and Will, thank you so much for this opportunity to be here at Bose Coffee and to let you guys know that we are always welcome to indulge you guys with us in Philippine coffee origins here. Heard of it? I've heard of your coffee but usually just like they like the right yeah, yeah very quick. Yeah. I've never seen this. This is made by slowly using um, the cold water slowly dripping drop by drop into the coffee grounds. You want to talk about the hardest working employee? This is this lady. She's going to be working all day. Eight hours. I can just feel her pain. So first of all, here is Sagada. So Sagada, there aren't many um, local communities producing more coffee beans, so we are talking about a rare coffee bean here. So the second one is Mount Apple. So the mountainous slopes in Mount Apple produce this light and earthy with medium body and light acidity okay. coffee. This is also one of the finest coffee beans that the coffee, coffee connoisseurs consider to be. Here we have Kitanglad. As we know here in the Philippines, it's also home to six, over 600 endangered and endemic species. So because of its biodiverse flora and fauna, the, the place produces this beautifully extracted coffee bean. So the flavor notes for this, we usually have this mm, light and earthy with floral undertones. See, you learn more every day. We have Matutun, one of the highest peaks of the south. So on this bean, okay. uh, this is actually located in a town called Tupi, where they are popularly known as the fruit, vegetable, and fruit baskets yeah. of South Cotabato. So we would love to save the best for last. These beans came from Cordillera region. The difference between them is that Ato has a well-balanced, light body okay. with notes of berries, chocolates, and nuts with a winey aftertaste. Wow, that just, that is Here. right up your alley. <laughs> and then we check them one by one. Okay, are you good? Okay, you, how about you? Are you good? You, 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 you. And then, for example, one of them is not, then we discard them. The other ones, make sure your hands are clean and then... Yeah, yeah. Yep. We return them. That's no how we way. do it day, day to day. For eating this? Mm -hmm. I don't know why I didn't expect that. It's like a Cheeto when I put it up. <laughs> <laughs> I did not expect that. Mm. It's definitely a good medium roast. Okay. You can definitely, I have no idea what that <laughs> He said it's a medium roast. Was he right on that? Is that his correct? I'm keeping up with what he said. <laughs> he already told us this earlier. So Someone's I, like, taking notes. Nothing. Uh, no matter how good your coffee bean is, no matter how many of them, right. if one of them is wrong, then it could go all the whole thing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it could go upside down. So it's only 
it takes only one beat to, re to ruin all beats, all at once. So and that's why you individually go through them so yep. people don't have that experience. Yeah. So am I that one bean? You are literally that one bean. <laughs> Jose is the one bean. <laughs> So now that we've gone through a course of the art of coffee, we're picking out our beans. I went ahead and picked out a bean that has the strongest caffeine. And Will over here. I chose one of the rarest beans in all of the land. <laughs> like me, rare. Um, Sagata. And of course, Jose, why I'm gone in a moment of taking advantage of the moment, chose the way I wanted to do it. So I'm stuck with like a manual labor type of thing. <laughs> but like not like the full on experience. Experiment. It's fine. So if you want to have that science -y yeah. chemistry kind of thing. That's what it looks like. It literally looks so like it came off like a chemistry. Whoa. Most of them call this siphon as a vacuum coffee brew. Okay. Because yep. it actually vacuums up on top. And then once you put the heat down, it actually goes down. Okay, so I'm doing the siphon method, which looks just like a science experiment. It's so cool. He's so mad. <laughs> this is the way I was going to choose, but um, I'll take Chemex, it's the same thing. It's <laughs> a thought process behind it, it's super cool. <laughs> so, you can have this one, Jose. <laughs> Bye. This is like an episode of Breaking Bad over here with this experiment. Which he's never seen, so I don't know why he's acting like he's he's hey, never hey. seen the show. <laughs> yeah. He's never, but at least you admit it, he's fraudulent and saying that he's been there. He's just seen commercials, so he has no, <laughs> no excuse. This is further proof that baristas dessert. Maybe not all baristas. <laughs> just, you know, like, you know. No, just for the proof that like there's so much more art that goes into everything. A science specific. Like this isn't just like I'm gonna go get some coffee from a bag that's already been ground from let's say folders and then put it into a machine. Like there's so much that goes behind it, which makes me and Jose appreciate it even more. Give your barista some kudos. All right, it takes time to get the perfect, perfect coffee, especially if they're actually taking their time and doing it the correct way so you can enjoy all the flavor. That is looking like a fine glass of wine. Jose would get the most complicated technique. Run for forever. That's him in a nutshell. So, that smile. Mm, complicated. I'm complicated, like an IKEA manual. Like, it's hard to read and hard to assemble. But at the end, she looks just as good. But it breaks down in two days, <laughs> so it's fine. <laughs> It smells so good. So, your Marvin was just sharing with us that there's a method to the madness of drinking this coffee. And the first part is just sipping a quick slurp. Slurp. Should I make a slurp sound? I need to hurt. Yeah, I like a slurp. <laughs> we gotta actually get the coffee. Oh, no. <laughs> your lips are. He's so scared. I'm so scared. I, it's hard, it's hard, so it's, scared. It's, it's hard for me to drink. Hot coffee, so I usually drink it at room temp. Just okay. do it. Come on, you got this. Nope, he's gonna show us. Let's hit the pro. Oh, yeah, let's see it. Oh. After that. There you go. Okay. Imitate it. Let's try this one more time, because that was a slur. Right. 
Yeah, it's a cute baby slurp. <laughs> I know it sounds stupid, maybe to most people, the people that know coffee way better than we do, but it tastes so smooth. Like there's nothing, it's not like you have fighting flavors, like six flavors trying to fight for your attention. It is just straight up smooth, perfect coffee. And of course, anytime you can eat a brownie or a dessert with it, you already know <laughs> it's a good one. When people say, um, something tastes burnt or coffee tastes burnt it's possible to burn coffee correct like it's a uh, yeah okay. that actually uh, that's actually possible because okay. of the it's either the temperature okay or it's just that the barista um actually did burn the coffee okay okay would that offend the barista if you went up there and said my coffee tastes burnt no actually for us it's actually like a learning experience so okay. that we could actually remake the drink you could actually, uh, you know, correct our mistakes and stuff. Okay. Yeah, I switched methods. We're actually doing the Hario V60. It's not just for me. It's also for Marvin. It's good practice. <laughs> Apparently so. This is your bean. All right. And you can also smell it. Mm. It smells like perfection. Mm. It smells like winning. I was going to say my breath in the morning. No, I wish it smelled like that. <laughs> if it smelled like that, we'd have no problem. <laughs> like, have you always wanted to be a barista, Marvin? Yeah, when I was when I was in college, um, we have this one subject class. It was also we Okay, um, on that semester, they let us choose between two okay. subjects. Right. That's bartending and bar barista. So yeah. I chose barista. That is so cool. Yeah, that's so cool. some holes in it okay so for them what I did learn was this actually extracts more flavor of the coffee Jose does it and I know it's nothing like this I think he just pours like well sometimes you'll ground the bean I mean they're not ground very well <laughs> got, you got big chunks little chunks small chunks and you got ones you can't even see it's nothing like this so my technique was to just pour the coffee bean onto the filter and just, without any finesse, just pour the hot water over it and then reuse the same coffee beans in that filter for a second cup. Come to find out that is not the way to do it because at that point you're just drinking black water and there's no caffeine on that second cup. So if you're making that mistake, change your ways because that is not the proper way to do it, and Marvin here has taught me the perfect way. So in this process, this is what we call agitation. We're agitating the coffee. Is this a stronger, mm. a stronger bean? No, his, his had more caffeine in it, correct? Oh, yeah. Okay. That smells so that good. good. Make sure to also appreciate your cup. Yeah, appreciating your cup did not, did not preheat your cup before you drink your coffee. We just learned something new. Literally, this, I don't think we learned this much in the morning, this early. <laughs> Thank you. Don't forget to pair it with a sweet. I'm gonna drink the whole cup in like no time. <laughs> and that's why I decided to pick those two desserts for you guys. Mm. So you can pair perfectly with your coffee. Try mine, which is literally perfection. It's actually not even that hot. Okay, we didn't ask to go for the Guinness Book of World Record for the longest slur. You didn't even drink any. Mm. I like yours better. So this will also incorporate with our coffee. Oh, you, I, I got what I needed. I'll see you guys later. <laughs> We're leaving. Just, just me and the cheesecake. We're, no, I'm just kidding. I'm kidding, kidding. I'm kidding. He's so ridiculous. This is literally like, this is my love language. Now it's the perfect time to say thank you to today's video sponsor, Skillshare. 
Growing your Instagram following is no easy task, especially when you're trying to create the perfect post and there are over a hundred different directions you can take. However, we recently started taking a course on Skillshare called Social Media Marketing, Top Things for Growing Your Following and Going Viral by Kat Coquillat. Creating the perfect post is much more than just writing a couple sentences and throwing on a hashtag. It's about building your brand. Our brand, Will & Jose Travels, is all about traveling the world and capturing the beauty of every destination through our eyes. And we just happen to use the power of video and photos to share that with the rest of the world. But we also need to know when to post everything we capture, so doing everything with intention is what keeps us on track. This course has helped show us how important it is to not just make a meaningful post, but make it visible to more people. So whether you're rebranding yourself across all social media platforms, or you just don't know how to reach a wider audience, this course is definitely for you. If this sounds something like you would benefit from, or just want to learn some new skills, Skillshare is a perfect platform for you. Skillshare is an online learning community with thousands of inspiring classes for anyone who loves learning and wants to explore their creativity and learn new skills. The first 1,000 people to use the link in the description box will get a one month free trial of Skillshare. So now let's get back to the coffee shop. The texture of the coffee, the brightness, and every flavor um, will change. Like, it will come out. Because we don't know much about coffee, so we always figure the initial taste and how it's supposed to always taste. So when it's cold or room temp, it's completely different taste. It's a different taste. So we figured it was. Not it's not actually a bad be. thing, it's supposed to, you know, uh, improve yeah. your palate in each and every person. And that's why I like my coffee cold sometimes. I have such a refined palate, it seems like. <laughs> you drink a pumpkin spice latte. <laughs> not gonna leave that. So I think one of the biggest takeaways we've had since we've been here is that the store is beautiful. Like it's stunning. It's very, you'll see, you see what it looks like. But our first thought is like, well, maybe you can just buy these at anywhere, any store. No, these are all local. Like there's a story behind everything. The lamp, the baskets, like there's nothing here that isn't local or thought out. There's a meaning behind it. There's an importance behind it. So I think it's probably my favorite fact about it. That's what I walked away from. Anytime. Our friend Eloise, we call her Ella Queen because she's the greatest human being. Anyway, anytime she got us into drinking espressos. So when she came to visit us when we lived in California, we'd literally go to like coffee shop, coffee shop, coffee shop, trying them all. So this makes me think of her, Eloise, this is for you. All right. And when you come visit us in the Philippines, we're gonna bring you here. And you're gonna try it. So in terms of extracting your own espresso, this is what you're after. Okay. It flows like a tail of a mouse, so smooth. It needs to have those three characteristics of the espresso. The body, the heart, and then this is the first thing that you see in espresso, the crema. Cheers. Hey, we're going back here guys, we got work to do. Do it in a circular motion. Yeah, that's perfect. Oh, oh sorry. That's good. All the way up to 270. Watching him do it, he clearly knows what he's doing. But I'm back there <laughs> trying to go in a circle. And you think it's easy to like do it. I think I get more water on the scale than I did the actual <laughs> top. So thank you for, thank you. It's, it, there's more to it. We just get practice makes perfect. We just have to keep practicing. I mean, I, I'm still learning my terminology here, people. Sorry. It's, what? it's good or it's bad. It's good. So what is this? It produces a light, nutty, with floral undertones. You guys can be a barista something. There's a lot to learn. And we've been here for like two hours. I don't think... <laughs> it's just like it's, it's, 
So we got to dilute all the coffee within our system. And Marvin was kind enough to bring us water. And this water is called Hope in a Box because 100% of the profits go towards building classrooms here in the Philippines, which is awesome. And another great way that shows and flows is all about bringing together the Filipino community. He's about to teach us how to do some latte art. Let's see what Will does. circular motion. <laughs> what happened? The, the foam left at the back. <laughs> <laughs> this is his first time doing it, so I had to teach him. It was, it was so... <laughs> we're gonna make him do it again. No. <laughs> <It's here. laughs> Wow, that's, that's, right, that's quite the artistry there. Yeah, it's it's abstract art. Oh, what is it? What do you see there? It, how dare you? <laughs> how dare this happen after I let the cup go? <laughs> it's a leaf. It's a leaf. I cut them off. <laughs> okay, well, after 27 cups of coffee, 23 espressos, and I don't know how many cold brews, I this flight take number 133. That was our day. Our full shift here at Post Coffee Tribute. I don't see myself clocking in tomorrow or any day moving forward just because of the experience that you need to make the perfect cup of coffee here. It is no <laughs> joke. Like, the knowledge, the knowledge behind everything, it's an art. It's literally an art. I've always had respect for baristas because I see what they do, but I didn't know everything behind it. Mm -hmm. It's an art. You really need to have coffee in your DNA, and Marvin yeah. shows to be someone that has a passion for coffee. Man, he, <laughs> he, he turned what I thought would be just a, a day at a coffee shop into like a deter, a, to a total experience. <laughs> Marvin, you're watching this. You are incredible. You mm -hmm. made us have so much fun. And thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. And to everyone at Bowles, again, thank you so much. The goal, <laughs> We walked in here, not coffee snobs. We're now leaving coffee snobs. Coffee snobs. <laughs> we don't drink that, sorry. No, I'm kidding, we're, we're not those people. <laughs> but it's nice to know. Now we feel a little bit more educated. We are in coffee. So, <laughs> here we go. And hope you guys are walking away feeling educated yourselves. So thank you so much. Be sure to continue watching the journey as we go through the Philippines and hit that bell notification for that upcoming video. And like and subscribe and comment below. And also just rule of thumb, we're not the exception to this. Mm -hmm. So if you come to Bill's Coffee Tribute and you see the section you want to ask them to brew you one of their coffee and have the experience, you yeah. can as well. Just ask them. So again, this is for everybody. Yes. All right guys, we're gonna go, well, here's cup number 140. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. Later guys. Mm, it's like a, yeah, they taste like a bit of spice, a little, a little floral on the tongue. A little nutty. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And one last thing, whenever you're drinking coffee, be sure to slurp that first sip. Not, don't sip it, slurp it. Slurp, I need to hear it. Okay, we didn't ask to go for the Guinness Book of World Record for the longest slur.